Whether it's fire safety, firearm safety, or even electrical safety, the most important thing next to being responsible and using your head is using a good product that's reliable. And here's a neat little product that actually goes back a few years, but it's pretty cool, and I still have them in service. Hi, this is Steve, Critical Dreamer Channel. Thanks for being here. This is a plug block, and the reason I know this is because right on it, it says plug block, and there's a patent number on the back. Now, what is this? This is actually an electrical lockout devi device. Um, it's pretty compact and effective. And what it does is it locks the male end of a standard two prong or two prong with ground US 120 volt electrical plug and uses a combination dial. And what you do is you dial in the correct combination. There's a release button here. You press the button, insert the plug, let go, scramble the combination. And now the button's locked and you can't remove the plug. Now, how does this work? Well, have you ever noticed that on electrical plugs, they have these holes? Do you know what those holes are for? There's a few different reasons why. I'm going to list some of these reasons and feel free to chime in in the comment section. Let us know what you think the actual reason or reasons are. Number one, how about a heat sink? to help distribute the heat, of the electricity, and the connection. The other one is possibly inside the blades of the receptacle. There's a detent. So when the plug's inserted, that detent engages the holes and helps keep the plug steady and firm, and keep it from pulling out quick or easily. That could be one of the reasons. Also, maybe as an actual lockout, application when it's shipped from the manufacturer so whatever that item is can't be used a sort of a re tamper resistant application until that product gets to the end user that's pretty much basically the same idea as what these plug blocks do and what they're intended for but that would be more on the consumer side of things the other option possibility maybe for cutting down on manufacturing costs there are only a couple of small little knockouts but we're talking mass production so when you add up all that material, it certainly can be used to uh, be reincorporated into more material and more items. So feel free to comment. Let us know what you think the correct answer or answers are on that. Now the plug block basically works on a principle of working as a locking device into those two holes. It's pretty hard to see in there, so I'm not even going to bother. But there's a finger that protrudes in that side, and then from this side comes in towards the middle too. So when the correct combination is dialed you can push the button it pulls those two fingers back out of the way allows the plug to be inserted and when you let go that spring lets those fingers go in each of those two holes when the combination scrambled let's just go one number different here it locks the button and now the plug can't be removed the good thing about this device is that you can actually change the combination and what you do is you have to start by dialing the correct combination. Right now it's set to 101. There's a combination change button. Depress and pull it down. And now let's just change it to 121. Okay, that's snapped in. Release the change button. And now that functions the release and insert. Let go, scramble this, and then it's locked. It's actually a pretty cool little, little unit. Now, what would be the uses? Well, certainly on power tools, on construction sites, perhaps um, a piece of equipment that a contractor doesn't want being used, or maybe something that's not ready to be used or not completely wired. You know, just a typical, when servicing 120 volt fixtures, tools, or machinery, keeping them locked out, whether it's at the home or on the job, basically to lock out unauthorized persons. Some apartment complexes I've actually seen use very similar to locking similar locking devices to this on their key duplicating machines in the maintenance shop. So that what that does is make sure that only authorized persons with the combination can unlock the plug and use that key duplicating machine to make keys for the apartments, apartments or offices or you know, other keys to the property. So these I purchased pretty much in the 
early 90s. And there are other types of plug lockout gadgets available. Many of them are bulky or even awkward, but of course they do the job and no one really cares how they look. But these in particular, nice little compact unit, easy to store, easy to use, and can certainly be invaluable in a pinch. The problem with these is that they're nowhere to be found. In the age of the internet, I can't find a photo, an article, a reference, nothing regarding this plug, plug block device other than my own professional experience with them which has been for a lot of years. And it's a great little peace of mind to have around the house, and even better, just to throw in your tool bag, if you can find one. This is Steve, Critical Dreamer Channel. Be present, be mindful, and remember, it's all about the harmony.